Hello there, peeps. This is What a Kid of the Ice Gamer once again, and it's time to continue on with Corpse Party Blood Covered. This time we'll be taking care of Chapter Four. We're gonna go ahead and view the opening now. I've already seen a bit of the opening for this chapter, and I'm gonna give a warning that there is a bit of nudity. Mild. Just, yeah. Come on out, you. I'll wash your back. I can wash it myself, you know. <laughs> and here's where I stop saying things until... <laughs> Blah. Jeez, why do you have to be like that? You know, sis... Sometimes, you really are like a mom. You really think so? You, you're such a sweetie. I didn't mean it like that. You've really grown up, you. Always thinking about your big sis's feelings. But you're still young, you know? Too young to act like such a grown up. You should stop worrying about me and just keep on being a kid. Ah, uh, you're crying. See, you really are still a kid. No. That's not even possible. Don't be a perv. You, you're such a good kid. Don't ever change, okay? I hope you stay like this forever. This is really late getting home today. And she said Dad had a big surprise for us, too. She said she'd help me get ready for it. I wonder how much longer she'll be. What? Oh, Are we having a typhoon or something? Such weird weather. Is that a bird? This, this is as far as I got in the... In the intro, originally. Um. Mayu. 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 Nani? What is it, Mom? I'm running late. Kyode. This is your last day at Kisaragi. Make sure you say your goodbyes and have a lot of fun with you, friends. Okay? I will. I'm so sorry about this. All because your father got transferred. It's okay. I'll be fine. I wish your father would have objected more strongly. But he said there was nothing he could do about it. And since you didn't object either. I swear that man doesn't give this family any consideration. All he thinks about is work. Uh-huh. Well, I've got to run. Bye. Little did she know, I, I just want my mom and dad to get along. Well, a bit too late for that now. Huh? Where am I? Why am I by myself? And why am I crying? Chig, bro, you there? Miss Yui? Shinozaki? I was just in the classroom with everybody, taking down the festival decorations. God, where even is this? Where? What? No. No, please. No, 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 the. So many no's. Stop it. Stop it, Mayu. 
don't succumb to panic. Take a deep breath and try to think of a charm or something that to get you through this. That's it! Shinozaki's charm! The one we all did, so we'd be friends forever. Of course! That explains why she died. I can't find it anywhere. My Sachiko ever after paper scrap. Gone! I was so sad to think that my time with everyone was over. But I had in my hand. I know I did. This sucks. What happened after that? My stomach is in bad shape, too. What does stress always give me indigestion? Hey, ghosty. Hey, ghosty, too. What were they? They went in that room. Maybe I should have a look. Um. Chapter 4. <clears throat> Ugh. Oh, my head. Where am I? Oh, hey, we're outside now. Ugh. I'm in the main building. Wake up from a bad dream and find myself in another. Darn it! Okay, I have control. This is the infirmary. Well, uh, we don't need to save just yet. Are these splattered with blood now? Nope. Hey, Yuka! 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 Yep, that's Mayu. Are we going in here yet? Oh, wait. The door is moving slightly and seems unlocked, but it won't open more than a tiny sliver. It appears as if something is blocking it from the other side. So does the door open inwards? That would be stupid for fire hazards. Please take care of Naomi. She's on the verge of snapping. Who's there? Who's speaking to me? I could swear that sounded like Oh, wait a second, that was- Okay, I see Naomi. what's going on here. Naomi! Hey, are you alright? What? Naomi. Naomi. I see. Isn't that Naomi's cell phone? Sure. We know how this is gonna end up. Actually, that's not what I was expecting. But I probably should have been expecting that. Yeah, I remember that from the last time the phone call happened. Hello? Hello? What? This place needs to... Can't word! Different way. You can't just leave it, though. Let's check the bathroom. Cause why not?
Here's the stalls. Hey, big guy. Oh. Well, it, it made another sound there, actually. Oh, well. Our loud friend is... Hi. <laughs> Seiko? You there? I certainly was surprised. Mm hmm. So, Seiko, did you hear? What is it? What is it? Kishinuma bumped into Satoshi turning around. Are you okay? Seriously? I like it, I like it. Oh, okay. When I saw it happen, though, I just wanted to smack Kishinuma upside the head. Oh dear, Naomi. Do I detect a bit of a hint of jealousy? Maybe, maybe not. All I know is, right afterward, the two of them got into a huge fight. That's priceless. I wish I could have seen it. I don't think you'd be so keen on it if you were there. It wasn't a pretty sight. I don't know. I have a feeling I would have enjoyed it anyway. Boys are such idiots. Cute, though. <laughs> hey! Mochita in particular. Right, Naomi? Is someone in there? Apparently not. <laughs> Let's kick in the door. Yup, that's Seiko. Naomi! What do you think you're doing? Oh wait, that's Naomi! What do I do? What do I do? So this is just a repeat, huh? Isn't there anything I can use? Oh, joy. Where is that bucket when you need it? She's dead. I'm... I'll save... No! I didn't make it. Not again. Come on out, ghosts. I know this is a bad ending. A good friend who'd been smiling and laughing with me in the classroom only a few hours earlier was now dead, dangling limply from the ceiling in a dismal, dingy bathroom cell. The mere fact that this had actually occurred was more frightening to me than any ghost. When I finally came back to my senses, I found myself running as if my life depended on it. I think I just wanted to get out of there, to get away from her body. I really think I just wanted to pretend like it never happened. It's all a dream, it can't be real. But my compromo compromised mental state couldn't hold me back for long. I knew I had to face her again. Yay! Both of them are here. Naomi. Naomi. I'm so sorry. I couldn't save you. It's... it's my fault. What do I do now? <gasps> she, 
Shinohara. Not you too. Why? Why would you do this? Why do we have to die here? Give them back, you sc Give them back, school. It's the body of Naomi Nakashima. Her eyes are open, but empty. There's no trace of life left to be seen. Why? Why is this happening? So wait, is this a bad ending? Well, obviously it's a bad end, a bad ending, but is it a bad ending? So I'm going to take a moment to explain something here. If you fail to save Naomi, then that does result in a bad ending. You just have to search around for it a bit. At this point, though, I figured there was a way to save Naomi, so after wandering around the school and not finding anything, I decided to just forget it and go ahead and restart the chapter. Okay, let's try to hold her off this time. I need to do something to loosen that rope ladder. I don't think that this would do anything good, so I'm just gonna do that. Hold on. Okay, she's breathing. Naomi, stay with me. I'm going to loosen the rope. Stand on bucket at feet, or... Okay, let's try that. You can't see what I'm doing. Is this it? While still supporting Naomi on his shoulders, with her upper body drooping behind the back wall, of the bathroom and his head, Satoshi reached behind him and fiddled with the knots at the base of the noose. Somehow or other, he managed to loosen the rope's grip. Against all odds, it seemed that Naomi would live. Then, was, was I on the verge of another bad ending? I don't know. <laughs> Naomi. Hey, you're all right now. Breathe. That's it. Easy now. Just like that. Breathe in and breathe out. Slow and steady. Satoshi? Yeah, it's me. Are you alright? You had me scared there for a minute. What? What's wrong? Are you in pain? Can you sooner next time? Uh, what? Uh, sorry. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? No need to apologize. There's no need. Huh? No need to apologize. Is your neck okay? My neck? What was I doing anyway? I fell down the stairs, and then... When I came to, you were here. You don't remember anything? I guess not. After I fell, I heard a snap in my leg, and figured I had broken it. But it turned out... It was just a splint that Seiko had used on my sprained ankle earlier. Shinohara. I think I heard her voice a little while, a little bit ago. Any idea where she went? Oh, we know. Seiko. Seiko is... Hmm? So... <laughs> 
That's impossible. I heard her voice. She spoke to me just a few minutes ago. Let's get her down. I feel bad leaving her like that. We had a fight just before we parted ways. I was the one in the wrong, but I was too stubborn to admit it. And the next time I saw her, Seiko was already dead. Might have even been my fault. I said some pretty mean things to her. And I can't even apologize anymore. Naomi, it's alright. It's not your fault. You do realize that you also tried to hang yourself, right? I did? That's not possible. But there is a stinging pain around my neck. Did I really? So you don't remember. I'm sure it was the same for Shinohara. I don't think she knew what she was doing. No matter how upset she was, she would never. She wasn't the type to give up on anything, much less kill herself over it. You... You're right, she wouldn't do that. Probably not, anyway. Actually, there was a spirit who came to talk to me. A girl about the same age as us. She said that anyone who's been touched by the curse of the school will have their mind taken over and go crazy. Their mind? Taken over? Curse or no curse, I do get the feeling that anyone trapped in here for long enough would go insane. Well, that explains the case behind Morishig. Clearly, we, we need to get out of this school as soon as we possibly can. The longer we're here, the more danger we're in. If even Naomi and Shinohara, the two of the strongest people I know, can wind up like this, then any one of us could be next, myself included. We'd better make sure nobody is left by themselves in here anymore. It sounds like we need to hurry up and find the others, then get out of here. Yeah, that brings up something else though. That girl spirit also said that this girl school was its own version of a closed of closed space. And that Seiko and I were the only living beings present. So how did you get here, Satoshi? Now that you mention it, there was a different feeling in the air than there was before. There is a different feeling that in the air now than there was before. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into motion. It's a truly no noble sentiment. Now go. Go to the one who occupies your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. Come to think of it, I was also approached by a spirit of my school girl. Shortly afterward, I lost consciousness and woke up not far from her. I wonder who she was. I'm not sure, but it sounds like you somehow made it, made the leap from one closed space to another. Closed space. That first ghost we saw said that if two people were in different spaces, it would be nearly impossible for them to meet. It's nothing. Uh, Satoshi. I think I heard Yuko's voice on the second floor earlier. You did? The two of us got separated when I lost consciousness. She can't be by herself in a place like this. She'll never make it. Last I saw her, she was heading out onto the walkway between the two wings. Come on, Naomi. This way. Okay. Shinohara, I'm sorry. I wish I could take you with us, but it doesn't seem like that's possible anymore. Please, 
forgive me.